Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about, I believe it's pronounced Chin, from the uh, good doctor of design himself, Reiner Knizia. And this is, what is it? Das Taktikspiel für die ganze Family. Uh, good old tactical game for the whole family. And uh, that's exactly what it is. It's a very, very, very light um, tile-laying game. Um, kind of in the, uh, in the vein of... Um, through the desert and, and Tigers and Euphrates, but again, made really, really easy and fast and accessible. And let's just jump right into it. Now, each player starts, well, in a two-player game, starts with 24 of these pagoda pieces. Uh, the more players there are, the fewer you start with. And you all start with a hand of three tiles, of uh, these double tiles. I've got three, Jen's got three, and I will be first. And every turn, the only thing you do um, is take one of your three and place it on the board and, uh, and see what happens. So of these three, I've got a uh, blue, yellow, or I'm sorry, a red, yellow, a red, blue, and a red, red. I'm going to take my red, red, and I'm going to put it out on the board. Now, there are already three starting provinces, and so I have to uh, play this off of one of them. I don't have to play it, I, I don't have to play it off of a matching color. I could play this, I could play this over here uh, if I want to, but I am going to play it off of the red. And in so doing, I will create the first province of the game. A province is defined by any two grid spaces next to each other, two or more, I should say, next to each other that have um, the same color. And so now this was not really a province yet, but now that there are three here, it is a province. And whenever you create a province, you get to place one of your pagodas on it to indicate that you have done it. And so that was my turn. Uh, and now I just draw back randomly from the big pile of tiles and see what I get. I got another red blue, and now it's Jen's turn. Now let me uh, go ahead and take a look at what she's got. Let's see. All righty. I think she will take a tile, and she's going to place a double blue tile out here like this. Now she again, she didn't have to place it over on the blue. She didn't even have to place it next to her own stuff. She's building it off of my province over here, and since it is too big, um, you know, two squares big, it's a continuous two, she has now created a province, you know, extending off of mine. And what's nice for her is that whenever you have, whenever you create a province that touches one of these neutral cities out on the board, and there's several of them, you know, all scattered about, uh, you get to put a pagoda on that neutral city, and it becomes your city. Simple as that. And then Jen draws a new tile, and now it's back to me, back to my turn. And let's see, I think the next one I'm going to, hmm, let's see. I'm going to take this blue, yellow, or I'm sorry, red, yellow, I'm colorblind today, and I will put it, and now um, you know, I can put it touching any of these things. I can't put it out here. It always has to extend from one of the colored pagodas. It can't extend from a city, whether it's neutral or not. So I'm going to put it over here. Uh, and in so doing, I have now extended my province that was previously three. It's now four big. And I've created another province, this two, um, two uh, grid, two square, yellow. So I've done that. And I'm going to go ahead and grab another one and see what I got. Oh, I got more singles. And now it's Jen's turn. What is she going to do? Let's see. I think she will. Yeah, what the heck? She's going to. Is she? Yeah. Now nah, she's going to do, there's this other blue over here. She's going to start extending off of that with this uh, blue tile. And now she's created a, another problem. So the same move that I made at the beginning. And she draws a new tile. Do, do, do. Let's see. And now I should say, before going farther, the game is over as soon as one player, any player, has gotten all of their pagodas successfully onto onto the big board. So, uh, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're in a race to get these pagodas out. Anyway, so that was Jen's turn. Now it's my turn. Now I think I want to extend off of her, or I could extend more over here. Let's see. For, like, interestingly, I mean, if I've got this uh, yellow blue, if I were to put this yellow blue here, it would make my um, existing pagoda, or you know, my existing province, one bigger, but it would also make Jen's one bigger as well. So that would actually benefit her also. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to instead uh, extend off of her thing and put this uh, two-color blue-red over here. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Why am I going to do that? I am instead going to... I don't want to put... 
See, I don't, actually, I don't want to put any blues over there at all. If I put any of these three over there, um, whether I put it, you know, I could, I could do something like this, but then there's a blue very close. And if Jen could, you know, just get another blue over here, she can make her pagoda one bigger. So all I'm doing is helping her by putting this blue over there. I really don't want to put more blues over there. But I want to grab this little village. But in doing it, I will help her. So do I bother with that or do I go off in a different direction? Because actually, that's the main thing of the game, is whenever you put these tiles down, obviously you're trying to expand out, you know, expand your control over the world, but not benefit your opponent, if at all possible. And let's see, I think, so I think instead, uh, you know, and there's always been a gamble because you never know, you don't know what tiles your opponent has, so you don't know if it's going to benefit them or not. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy out here. Um, which has now extended my uh, initial red up to five grids. Now that's another thing that happens. Whenever a province gets up to five, it becomes, uh, I think they call it a master province or a superior province, something like that. But basically, once they hit five, they become untouchable. And you indicate that by putting a second. So I've gotten another uh, pagoda of my 24 pagodas out onto the board. What that means is, through mergers or anything else, my red pagoda can never go away. So, um, and in doing it, see, I've also put this little stub out here. I gotta get another tile, let's see what I grabbed. I got a double yellow, yay. And now it's Jen's turn. What is she gonna do? And you know, because, this is the tricky thing, um, whenever you put your tiles down, if you're not putting down a double color, and you're not um, you know, trying to you know, do something like this, where I put this down and it benefited me on both sides, when you leave a stub out here like that, you uh, open it up so that your opponent can take advantage. And Jen's going to do exactly that. She is going to put a blue-yellow right here. And in doing it, one, two pagodas. She just put down two more of her pagodas. And I said, ouch. Let's see if I can uh, make uh, uh, you know, and, and turn that around. Now, I've got a couple here with yellows. I could just go on ahead... Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. I'm going to take, or do I want to? Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to take this double yellow. I'm going to put it here. Um, build off the stub of the yellow gen created. And I create a three, um, a pagoda of size three. Now, Jen still owns this town because she got there first. But if there are, if I ever have more pagodas than her next to this town, I will take control of that town, and she'll have to take her pagoda and kick it back off the board. So we'll see if I can do that. If I can, um, like, extend this yellow two more, as an example, so it becomes a fiver, I'd get another pagoda on here, and I would kick you off. Let's see if I can do that. But first of all, I gotta draw another tile. Alrighty, so I've got all singles again. Let's see what Jen's gonna do. Let me see what she's got. Um, let's see. She's gonna, interestingly, she's not gonna play with that, and because as it happens, she doesn't really have anything that benefits over there, and I haven't left her any stubs to build off of either. So she's gonna bring this blue yellow over here. Uh, she's made this blue bigger. It's one step away from being an untouchable, you know, uh, you know, super province, and she's also successfully grabbed a, another town. All right, and she's got a new tile. Let's see what I get. Okay, now, I might, let's see, because she's not, I was originally thinking I was going to use these other two yellow singles over here over time to, um, you know, make this pagoda, but now she's left that stub over there, so I might want to build off of that. But if I do, I'll just be, um, you know, creating another stub for her. So, I think I will actually continue with my original plan of putting this guy over here. Yeah. All right. And so that's now made this a four, and I made a stub over there, and I, I draw a new tile. Let's see. And now it's Jen's turn, and what's she going to do? She is going to... She's going to come over here, where she was before, and put a double yellow. And now she's created another province, and she's starting to build to these other two towns over there. And she draws another tile. Back to me, okay, and she's left it wide open. And now as it turns out, uh, there was really not much she could have done. Uh, you don't know what tiles she had, but you know, I took a gamble and it paid off for me. She did not have any tiles that could have really stopped me from doing this over here. I am now going to successfully put down another tile, and I've made this five big, so it becomes a super province. And now that um, this town, ha you know, Jen has one pagoda next to it, but I've got two pagoda adjacent to it, I have taken over control of this town. 
Boom, I, just like that. Although I, in the process, I've also created two stubs for Jen. But you know what, you, you know, when, you have, when you don't have two um, you know, doubles, sometimes you create stubs, there's nothing you can do about it. And, but hey, I got a double yellow, that'll be handy in the future. So back to Jen, what is she gonna do now? Mm. Let's see, I think, yep, she's gonna take this double red, which coincidentally she just picked up, put it right there, and now she's created a one, two, three province. But in this case, she's got two provinces next to this town. I've got two provinces. She has to get three of her pagodas down. I'm sorry, three pagodas down before she'd be able to take that town back from me. So, but you know, I mean, and in doing that, she has not, you know, given me anything to extend off of, and she gets. But now, um, let's see. Continuing on, I am going to. That would be nice. I think actually, yeah, I'm going to take one of these blue reds and put it over here, and in so doing. I have created another double and a single. And uh, let's just go ahead and draw and see what I get. And I'm hoping Jen will not um, you know, extend off that stub, but you never know because you don't know what she's got. Hmm. Let's see. Interestingly, she does, you know, she does. I you know, I also well, let's take a look at what she's got. She's actually got two double yellows and a yellow red. So she could use this red to expand off of here and you know, create a little over herself, but in doing it, she'd be creating a stub for me. And what's more importantly, she'd be creating a yellow out here that my big super um, province would be able to probably um, usurp very, very easily. So it doesn't really benefit her to try to jump off of that stub. So I think she is going to continue to go her own way and just take one of her double yellows and put it out over here. And in so doing, she has now made a super province, so she gets to go to here, and she's taken over this town. So, um, as it stands right now, she's um, one pagoda ahead of me. And she's drawing a new tile, and now it's my turn. And, let's see. So now, I could, so I've got this nice blue-red, kind of what I want to do is you know start building towards you know expanding that blue but then also making a red for myself in this area but that'd be pretty dangerous i mean because i don't know but you know there's only three colors in the game there's a good chance jen would have a red and be able to you know fall, polish that off plus doing this would mean this blue would never be able to expand anymore it would never be able to get beyond three so that's really not the greatest thing in the world but i think what i will do is go on ahead and um put this uh one two down thereby having created another and um, you know another uh, what do you call it uh, pavilion of, of two and what's more importantly I've kind of I've all but certainly locked in this town it'd be very very difficult for this town to be taken away from me now because there can I mean all the tiles are two grids big so there's no way a tile could ever be put here so this space will always be empty so the only thing that could ever be next to this town is this which I own and the only way Jen could take that away from me would be if she actually snaked a very large blue province down into here to um, you know steal it from me so uh, you know while I've left a stub for Jen I have also pretty much locked in this town for myself let's see what I go ahead and grab oh yeah yeah double blue oh that'll be awesome because now I can start um, strengthening that blue over there meanwhile Jen Let's see. Now, see again, and, and you know, interestingly, she didn't have any blues. So this blue stub I left her did not really benefit her at all. So she can't capitalize on that. So she's just going to continue to, um, you know, expand unopposed. Or is she? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, she just will. She'll just expand unopposed over here. So this pagoda is even bigger now. And she's taking over this little town as well. She was really lucky to get all those doubles. Um, you know, it allowed her pretty much to you know expand like that, like crazy. But anyway, back to me. Now I'm going to take my other blue red, put it down like this. Oops, like this. And now I have created. Um, you know, this this red uh, pavilion is that much closer to being untouchable. And I've created another double blue, and I've taken this town. And I haven't left any stubs for Jen to build off of. Grabbing another one. Let's see. And we'll just have Jen do one more turn. Let's see now. Um, <laughs> okay. So she's still got this double red that makes it very, very easy for her to expand. But, it's like, yeah, she can come in off of here 
and start you know, and doing this she could expand off of here towards this town to try and grab it but it doesn't quite reach she'll get a single pagoda here but she will have left an opening for me if I have any doubles and I do that I'll be able to take this town so that doesn't really benefit her that much um, you know she might want to just go ahead and start extending this way because again she's solidifying her control over this town yeah that's what she'll do and she's made another pagoda for herself and she hasn't you know given anything that I could piggyback off of to get to a city and she started to move down in this direction and um, you know actually I think I'm gonna stop right there I could easily keep going because you can see just how fast and smooth this game plays um, but I think I'll leave that for a few more rounds of extended play because I really would like to show how one town can build and take over another town and you know a couple of other little t tricks and twists so if you'd like to see some more action please uh, hit the button that would let you continue watching the extended playthrough alternatively hit the button that would let you uh, skip right to the end for final thoughts either way I leave the choice in your capable hands in five four Three, two, one. Oh, bye bye.